In 2019, my sweet husband, Robert Walgamuth, and I wrote our first co-authored book. Robert had written many books, I had written many books, but this was our first one together. We called it, You Can Trust God to Write Your Story. We believed that message, we had seen it illustrated in our own lives over the years, and we shared the stories of so many friends who had seen this truth that you can trust God to write your story illustrated in their journeys. So we talked about people who've been through prodigal children, financial challenges, health issues, so many different areas where they had to trust the providence of God that at times was mysterious and difficult to comprehend. Well, back in 2019, we had no way of anticipating what 2020 would look like. But now here we are, 2020. And just months ago, we couldn't have envisioned a world in the grip of a, of a pandemic, a disease having us locked down and having the economy in free fall, people losing jobs, people just challenged to know what their next step would be, what their life would look like. And then, Robert was diagnosed with melanoma. So we were dealing not only with coronavirus, but with cancer, things we could not have imagined just several months ago. But I have come to believe that the book we wrote last year is even more timely now than it was when we first wrote it. And here's the thing I'm learning. The things we said back then about trusting God to write your story, they're still true. They're right, God does have a story, and His story is bigger than what we're experiencing right now. He does know what He has in mind and what the end of the story looks like, and it's going to be good for those who are His children and who are trusting Him with their story. At the, uh, in one section of this book, uh, the chapter on our story, which is just one chapter of many stories in this book, stories from the Bible and stories from others' lives. Here's what I said. Again, this was back in 2019. I wrote, God is sovereign. His ways are unfathomable and inscrutable. That means they're hard to understand. Only He fully knows why He does what He does. But we know that whatever He does is purposeful, good, and for our ultimate joy. That is the heart of this book. As we sit here today, we have no idea, Robert and I, what our future may hold. Our story is still being written, and God has not given us an inside track on what the next chapters look like. But our trust is in the one who holds our future, the author and finisher of our faith. That gives us freedom and peace, even when we cannot see what lies ahead. And then we wrote, as we've listened to some of the painful stories dear friends have shared with us for this book, we can't help but wonder what rocky paths we may yet be called to travel. We have a little better idea of that now than we did a year ago. We may yet face serious health issues, losing one or the other to death and or other crises known only to Him. But we know He has been faithful in each chapter thus far. And we know that He will be faithful in each one yet to come, that His grace will be sufficient for wherever He leads us. And then we said, we don't want to tell Him how to write our story. We trust Him to write our story for us. Above all, our desire is that our lives will showcase the beauty and the goodness of His story. His story, that's what it's all about in my life, in Robert's life, in our marriage, and in your life, and in our world. God is writing a story. God is faithful. God is good. And God can be trusted. It's always been true. It was true in 2019. It's true in 2020. And it will be true in 2021. Many of our friends have told us and others have written to say how God has used this book to encourage them, to give them hope, to give them perspective, and to help them walk through some of the really difficult, uncharted chapters of their stories. If you haven't had a chance to read it yet, I want to say I think this book is more timely today than when we wrote it last year. So I want to encourage you to get a copy, to read it, and then to share it with others. Uh, we've had people who said, I want to give this to so-and-so who just went through so-and-so. 
God will show you the right time and the right way to give this, but I think it'll be an encouragement to them and will give them hope. So share it with others. Share this message. You really can trust God to write your story. And during these summer months, you may even want to get a small group together and use the resources provided through Revive Our Hearts and uh, the, the uh, You Can Trust God to Write Your Story website and uh, get some others together and discuss what you're learning, how God's speaking to you through this resource. You really can trust God to write your story. And I trust this book will encourage you as that story is unfolding in your life. Blessings on you.